Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for a sneak. You know what? No, no, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Okay, okay, that is that is much, much better. Hey guys, Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new sneaker collection video. And today we are taking a look at my Bape and Converse sneaker collection. Now, I've been collecting Converse sneakers for about a year now, and my collection has grown pretty substantially. A lot of the stuff here I actually was given by Converse, so thank you to Converse for a lot of these pairs I have uh, in my collection. There's also some stuff that's outside of Converse, which are the Bape sneakers, which I will also be showing you guys. And uh, yeah, I don't have all of the sneakers. I actually gave away one of the Converse sneakers to a person yesterday because he found my phone. So shout out to John for finding my phone and being a model citizen and returning it. But with that said, we're here for the sneakers. So let's get to the Converse sneaker collection video. So there is gonna be some general theme in the order that I show you guys the sneakers. They're gonna be in order of silhouettes. So I have the Chuck Taylor 2s first, then I have some one-off sneakers, then I have some 1970s, then I have some babes, etc., etc. So let's get into it. Oh, and there's also a custom Converse I made one of one I got to handpick all the materials and everything for it so that would be one of the last sneakers I show you guys so for the very first sneaker I think it makes sense to show you guys the very first Converse sneaker I was ever sent uh, and they are the Converse Chuck Taylor 2 from the marble pack now this is a custom I actually did a long long time ago last year and originally these sneakers did not have this Comme des Garçons patch on it it was just a regular marble print canvas upper they also made a black colorway of these as well and Converse sent me the white ones here. If you are curious about how I did make this small little custom, it's really just a small iron-on patch that I put onto it. I'll leave a link of a DIY video of how you can do this yourself. Many people in the Sneaker Talk family have made their own DIY Comme des Garçons customs. It's a really cheap alternative, you know, you know, compared to buying some CGG Converse that can retail for like 200 Canadian dollars after tax. It's out of the budget for a lot of people. These patches were pretty cheap. The next sneaker is the Converse Chuck Taylor 2 in the black and white colorway. This is the basic colorway. This was the model that really started to generate my interest in Converse. Traditionally, Converse is known as being a sneaker brand that doesn't make really the most comfortable of sneakers, but a lot of that really changed where a lot of people were convinced otherwise once this sneaker came out, the Converse Chuck Taylor 2. The whole reason behind this is because Converse added uh, their parent company's special insole technology, the Lunar Lawn insole. Now, you guys have heard this many times before if you've been watching my channel for a while. This thing is super incredibly comfortable. Um, you can put it into your other sneakers as well. And it is, it is a huge reason why I started wearing Converse a lot because the whole comfort factor was really a big turnoff for me uh, growing up when it came to Converse. But once they threw the Lunar Lawn sole in, I was sold. And ever since that, I have been hooked on Converse. Next up has got to be one of my favorite pairs of Chuck Taylors. These are the Chuck Taylor 2 from the Car Leather Pack. This is the brown tan colorway here. We have some black accents on the uh, eyelets. We have the black leather patch here. The quality of these is really phenomenal. They smell like real genuine leather. It's really good leather. And this was a sneaker I actually bought in New York City at the Converse store, their flagship store in New York City. I, I'm so happy I got these. These also came in a black colorway and a white colorway. I really like them both, but this colorway really stood out to me because it was something very different. It was nothing like anything in my sneaker collection beforehand. So, you know, I always try and diversify my collection and this pickup was honestly a great way to do so. The next pair of Chucks in my collection are the Chuck 2 uh, Navy Blue Gun bottoms. These are special to me because I was actually flown out to New York City for a photo shoot or it was a big event and the photo shoot was part of this whole uh, trip. So I just had fun running around New York City with my homies uh, taking pictures of these sneakers and you know modeling them and all that kind of stuff. The next one here is actually a waterproof Chuck Taylor 2 Low from the uh, Counter Climate Collection. This was a collection they made that was like a waterproof version of the Chuck Taylors and uh, I actually had some fun with these. I brought these to school and I tested out the waterproof abilities of it with some Dr. Pepper and some Gatorade. So I'll roll the clip right now. Thank you, yo. Look at that, no crep protect. Look at that, beautiful. Oh beautiful. my gosh, right? These next pair of Chucks are a project I've been sitting on for over a year now. 
Uh, I bought these with the intention of customizing them, making another Converse Chuck Taylor 2 CDG with the red patch, and I was gonna throw it on these like cream, uh, cream Chuck 2s, and I also have black paint to paint the back stripe on it here. So it really is inspired by the Chuck Taylor 1970 CDG, um, but on the Chuck Taylor 2 instead. And I've just been so lazy when it comes to making this actual custom. I've had them sitting in my room forever, and maybe I will make it this summer. These are the Chuck Taylor 2 uh, Futura collab. Futura is a famous, well-known artist, graffiti artist, and uh, he collabed with Converse. He's collabed with many other brands in the past, and he made these really cool Chuck 2s. These things are super wild, really, really out there. Some weird camouflage print with like abstract art in his like signature uh, design, I guess. There's so many small little details about the sneaker that are amazing. For one, it's made out of like this rubber boot material kind of thing, and so that's why they're able to pull off the print that they do on this sneaker. There's patches that you can remove and you can swap out. There's multiple patches available. The shoelaces have details on them, like actual writing on the shoelaces. And even on the midsole, there's writing on the midsole, which is honestly such a cool detail. And I've never seen any other sneaker do something like that before. But uh, yeah, let's get to the Chuck 2 boots. First up is the brown colorway of the Chuck Taylor 2 boot. And this would have to be my most worn uh, sneaker slash boot of the fall winter in 2016. 16 slash 2017 winter these things are like honestly the perfect winter boot in my opinion they have the classic you know the classic converse styling but it has all the functionality of a high performance boot it's waterproof it keeps your feet warm it's comfortable it has that lunar lawn insole that running shoe insole inside of these things and man these things are just like built like a tank honestly one of my favorite pickups and one of my most useful sneakers in 2016 uh, so yeah I love the sneaker so much or I love this boot so much I actually went and bought another pair off white cream kind of colorway and these things were fantastic for the fall winter you don't really see too many guys with white or cream colored boots so this was definitely a nice change from all the typical black Timberlands or wheat Timberlands for example and they just really really popped not everyone can uh, pull off the white boots in the winter and I still managed to keep these pretty clean as well which is pretty cool to see next up is the Converse Pro Leather 76 vintage suede. I think I got that correct. This is like the volcano or volcanic orange colorway. These things really, really pop. And again, this is another sneaker that Converse did send me and they really had a cool little press event for us in Toronto. They sent us to a Raptors game where they played against the Philadelphia 76ers, which was pretty clever because you know, it's called the Converse Pro Leather Vintage Suede Suede. Pro Leather Vintage Suede 76. And uh, I got to enjoy my first ever Raptors basketball game. Let's go Raptors. Raptors in game seven against Cleveland. Hoping for the best. But yeah, these things are really clean, really comfy. Gives that old school vintage vibe. I've worn these quite a ton actually. So much that there's been jean dye inside of here. This next pair is a pair of Jack Purcell uh, Converse or Chucks. This is the very first pair of Jack Purcell sneakers in my actual collection. And this was a gift given to me by Ian Bent at Lace It Up T.O., uh, the intern at Sneaker Talk. So thank you for this birthday present, Ian. These right here, these beautiful things are the Chuck Taylor 1970s. And these were my favorite sneaker in my Converse collection for the longest time uh, once I got them. These things are so nice. The quality is bananas. We have some really nice leather quality, this cream kind of color on the outer side. And on the inside, we have this gray suede. And the suede is also incredibly nice material along with this leather patch. Then we have silver aglets and the comfort is there. I was surprised with the comfort level of the 1970s. I was expecting it to have the same level of comfort as the OG Chuck Taylors, they proved me wrong. These are definitely comfortable. You can still wear these all day long. And man, these are just such a clean silhouette. Ever since I got these, I just fell in love with the 1970s and now I'm like after many colorways. And I love this sneaker so much in particular that it was influencing my one of one custom that I made, which you guys will see later in the video. But yeah, Chuck Taylor 1970s. This is a mixed uh, material one. You don't really see that very often, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. The next pair of 1970s I have is this black pair, all black, nothing too special, just all black leather. The leather quality is really nice as well. I picked these up in New York City the second time I went, and these are gonna go perfectly with my black leather jacket. And honestly, they would look really good for like any formal occasion, any night out, because you can't go wrong with a classic pair of all black Chuck 1970s. These right here, these are the All Star Moderns. This is a sneaker 
that brought me to New York City. My very first time in New York City, Converse flew me out and uh, it was for the launch event for this sneaker. It was a huge, huge launch event. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, I'll leave a lot of Converse vlogs and event vlogs in the description down below. So if you guys wanna see all the cool adventures that Converse has taken me on over this last year, which I highly recommend you do check out, definitely check all the vlogs uh, in the description down below. I might even make a playlist just for the Converse vlogs. You know what, I'll do that. So I'll link the Converse vlogs playlist uh, in the description. These all-star moderns right here just have so much sentimental value to me and they mean the world to me. So thank you Converse for this and thank you Converse for reaching out and having me in New York City for the very first time in my life. You guys treated me like a rock star and ever since then my grinding and my mentality towards everything has just been elevated to some next level like next level stuff. So uh, yeah these use I'm not even sure what kind of upper material it uses but it uses a, a knit upper like a special kind of knit upper uh, we have a phylon midsole it's quite comfortable as well the very very stylish looking and uh, it almost has like this high-end kind of vibe to it which is really dope and these are one pair of Converse that I actually get a lot of questions on when I wear them online and in person all right so if you made it this far in the video a huge thank you to you thank you for sticking through it we're almost done we have seven more pairs of sneakers in my collection and if you were waiting for the Bape sneakers you can now rejoice this is the Bape sneaker collection portion of the video so let's do this in order with the very first pair of Bape sneakers I ever received or bought. Uh, these are the Bape Apesta in the black colorway. Now you guys see this and you might think Bape Converse collab. No, this isn't a collaboration. Bape is actually known for like ripping off uh, other brands and this is one of the sneakers that they have done. Now if you want these sneakers, they are very, very hard to come by. I searched for about two, two and a half years before I actually came across a person selling them in new condition, brand new, and in my size. Now looking back, I probably could have gone with a nine or a 9.5. These are a size 10, so they're a little bit big on me. So have to throw in a lunar lawn insole but it's not that bad but if anyone does have a size 9 or 9.5 and would like to swap down feel free to hit me up these are neck breakers to the maximum they're like oh nice chucks and I'm like nah man these are babes uh, they're really really nice made in Japan uh, you got the shark face everyone knows we got the zipper YKK zipper on the side so you can slip these in and off we got fancy laces on the very toe cap of the sneaker and then on the midsole of the sneaker we have these like star babes to uh, I don't know what to call it this these star designs right here and uh, I wore these a ton last summer these definitely became a beater and shout out to Bape Plug in the six he's the seller who sold me these these sneakers right here are just a treasure I absolutely love these things now let's get to the next pair of Bape sneakers this is my second pair of Bape Apes does this has red on the outside and camo on the inside and wait for it on the other sneaker it has camouflage on the outside and red on the inside. It's this really different and neat mismatch kind of vibe. So if you see me walking and you're on my right side, my feet are gonna look like this. And if you're on my left side, it's gonna look like this. When I saw these, I fell in love. I was like, damn, those are so sick. Those are so different. And the fact that you got some camo on it, you know, Bape's famous for the camo. This was like a no brainer. So I picked these up on Grailed. These were lightly worn. And uh, honestly, if you are looking for a pair of Bape Apes, does Grailed.com. This isn't sponsored, but Grailed com is the website I highly recommend you guys check out because that's the best place to find um, Bape sneakers in my opinion there's no other better marketplace these are also a little bit big on me could have gone with a 9 or 9.5 so if anyone has something similar or this exact model in a smaller size let me know but uh, yeah I really wouldn't mind selling these because they are a little big so if you are possibly interested in buying these Bape sneakers let me know but I'm not going to be giving these out for steel prices I'm gonna be charging, you know, a fair amount. So, just a heads up. Last but not least, the very last pair of Bape sneakers. This is my most recent addition to the collection. These are the Bape Apesta in the first camo colorway. This is that yellow, green, uh, black kind of camo. It's a really different kind of camo, which I really appreciate. These are a size 9.5, and uh, they fit better than the other sneakers. I don't have to have a Lunar Lawn insole, but I actually threw in some Ultra Boost insoles in here for some reason. And uh, these also have the zippers on the side, just like the other ones did. It's a sneaker that not everyone has in their collection, and if someone sees you wearing it, and they're remotely interested in sneakers, uh, they're definitely gonna ask you about them, because they're made in Japan, 
Japan. They're incredibly hard to get and you have to know your stuff uh, if you want to buy these in the first place. But yeah, there you guys have it. That is my Bape sneaker collection uh, inside of my Converse sneaker collection. I've included the Bape collection into the Converse collection for very obvious reasons. Now let's get to the next pair of Chucks. This next pair is honestly one of my favorites in my entire collection. These are the Converse Lux Modern. I have so many good things to say about this sneaker. It's my favorite all white sneaker in my entire collection and I just love these things. I love these things, love these things, love these things. The quality is amazing. It has shattered backboard leather quality. If you're familiar with Air Jordan 1s, the comfort is there. The comfort is definitely there. And I love this little like spoiler wing thing it has on the back. It's really a nice touch. And then on the very back of the sneaker, the booty, we got some Converse branding as well. So man. Just the sneaker comes together so well, so well. I highly recommend you guys check out the uh, Converse Lux Modern. They made these in a white colorway. They also made them in a black colorway. And I'm honestly gonna have to buy the black colorway eventually down the road, cause these things are so freaking fire. If you have these, you already know what I mean, man. These next two pairs of Chucks are the most recent additions to my collection. Uh, first up is the Nike Flyknit Chuck Taylor. Yes, you heard that right, Nike Flyknit. It uses a complete white Flyknit upper. I did do a full review of the sneaker, so if you wanna check it out, feel free to. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Super light, very comfortable. The Flyknit is like freaking, it's, it's perfect. The Flyknit is so well executed on the sneaker. If you are a fan of Nike's Flyknit technology, I would definitely recommend these to you. Try them on in store. Uh, they made five different colorways available, and uh, I actually have a really cool vlog where I review the red colorway in a helicopter that's flying over New York City. Which now spoils my next colorway of the sneaker I'm about to show you guys, the red colorway. This has to be my favorite out of the entire Nike Flyknit Chuck Taylor uh, collection. It really, really pops. The color of red is so rich. Uh, it's a nice Flyknit uh, mixture of like this black or navy blue and red and it's just, it's beautiful. This is such a cool sneaker. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen me do my sneaker review of these in a helicopter, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. One of my best vlogs to date. The music in the vlog is perfect. Like the music, I couldn't ask for better music for that video. So do me a huge favor, check out that New York City vlog. I just came back from New York a few days ago. So the memories are still very fresh in my head and I wanna go back. I wanna go back to New York City so badly. So uh, Converse, if you guys wanna throw me back into New York City, I am more than willing to volunteer. But yeah, Converse Chuck Taylor Flyknit Collection, the red colorway. Now, let's get to my final Chuck Taylor. These right here are the Converse I designed and made myself. Now I didn't like hand make it, but I got to sit at a table and design the sneaker from top to bottom. And I was really, really happy with how it turned out. These are based off of the Chuck Taylor 1970 model, which is the model they had us all customize. I'm really looking forward to wearing these at a special event, probably the Much Music Video Awards. Shout out to Much. Uh, but yeah, here they are guys. These are my one of one custom 1970 Converse. So on the outside, we have this plum burgundy shimmery kind of material, really, really out there, sort of bedazzled. And on the inside, we have the black material as well. Some of it shimmers as well, which is pretty cool to see. But yeah, that's where you guys can see the 1970, um, this colorway, the half and half kind of influence come into play with these. I also opted for the gold eyelets, which look really, really good with black and the burgundy plum color we have here. We got a black leather patch on the inside, black leather patch on the tongue. We have a glossy black midsole with the black and white Converse branding right there. Look at that booty though. Mm. This is my one of one pair of Chuck Taylor 1970s. Thank you Converse for giving me the opportunity to make these and for having me in New York City for the second time. Uh, with the creation of the sneaker. Man, oh man, I love you Converse. Thank you for all the opportunities you guys have given me over this last year. So there you guys go. That is gonna wrap up today's sneaker collection video. Definitely a long one. I swear I wasn't intending it for it to be this long, but I ended up getting in a little bit too much detail for each sneaker, which I guess means when I do a full sneaker collection video, I'll just show the sneaker and then get on to the next one. Show the sneaker, get on to the next one. Let me know what you guys think about my Bape and Converse collection. Let me know your top three in the comments down below. And also, this is gonna be fun. If you've ever bought any pairs of Converse because I might have influenced you to buy Converse or you saw a review or something like that, then comment in the comment section down below the Converse or Converse's 
you might have bought because you're part of the Sneaker Talk family. And uh, of course, smash that thumbs up button down below. It honestly helps me out a ton. And if you want to help the channel grow, tell your homies to subscribe at school, at work, in the club, in the washroom. Tell a stranger in the washroom to subscribe. I think they would really appreciate it. I mean, I would love to subscribe to Sneaker Talk, but I, I can't do that. I can't do that, guys. I'm sorry. My mom. I gotta get my mom to subscribe. She's still she's still uh, dodging my messages about that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys won't dodge my next video. Subscribe, hit that bell down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.